What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and what you're seeing on screen is a taste of what's to come in this video. The best hiding spots on Siege in 2023. Now if you want to see another video come out on Sunday, make sure to get this video to 200 likes and let me know down in the comments what your favorite spot is after you watch the video. So without me talking anymore, we're going to dive straight in and get started with the first spot located here on Border. Now for this first spot located inside a supply room on the first floor, this was an old one from way back, but I found a new way to get into it. So by placing a Kiba barrier on the handle of the lockers, you can then jump up on top of the container and run across over the Kiba barrier and up on top of the lockers. And once you turn around, you can then jump up on top of the cabinet and then down onto the shelf behind. Now from up here, you can watch the supply window or anyone pushing into detention, you can catch them off guard and jump down on top of them and get the pig. Now the next one on border is just outside in the custom inspection. By placing a Kiba barrier on the leg of the table, you can then run from the opposite table over the Kiba barrier and on top of the containers on the table. You can then lie prone and keep lying prone until you fall down inside the containers and you'll be almost invisible up there for anyone pushing into detention trying to get control of customs and you can catch them off guard. For this next one, we're not too far away inside the workshop. Very straightforward. By breaking the computers, you can lay prone and get in behind the desk. Moving on to the next one, this one is located inside the tellers. Now I did post this in my recent 25 angles video, but it also acts as a hiding spot. So I wanted to show it off again for anyone who didn't see that video, make sure to go check it out. All you need to do here is by jumping up on top of the couch and standing on the arm at the very end, you can run to the corner of the vending machine and get a prompt to get on top of it. And once you're up here, you can either lay prone, hide for anyone pushing into the site, or you can also, as I said, use it as an angle. Moving on over onto Villa for the next hiding spots, and the first one is located inside the kitchen on the first floor. Now this is such a good spot, but it is quite difficult to get into. By breaking the top two shelves on the unit and by running up on top of it, you can turn around and run towards the extractor fan and get a vault on top. Now once you're up here, you can walk across the top of the shelf, taking it very slowly, and you'll be able to get on top of the fridge inside the corner. Now from here, you can watch the whole site and a lot of people are not going to be expecting you to be up here so you could get some easy picks while they're pushing the site. next spot is located in the 90 hall just outside of China. What you can do here is by breaking just that one tree up against the back wall, you'll be able to jump up on top of the plants and lay prone inside the bush. Now, once you're in here, you're never going to be seen. It's almost invisible once you're inside there. So anyone pushing down that hallway, you can jump up and completely catch them by surprise. Now this next one is located inside the living room on the first floor. Now by jumping up on top of the little table in the corner and standing on the edge of the couch on the arm, you can run around the arch and vault up on top of the fireplace. Now this will take some practice, but once you're up on top of the fireplace, you can either open up holes into the hallway towards Astro stairs, or you can drop down onto the wood right next to the fireplace and lay prone and hide behind the wall. Now anyone pushing through living room will not see you laying there and they will be completely caught by surprise when you drop off and get that kill. Next spot takes us over into mod room. Now this is a bit of a crazy one, but if you could do it, it could be a lot of fun. By basically breaking open the side of the cabinet and the shelf above to the right of it. And by placing a Kiba barrier on the bench like you see on screen, you'll be able to vault over the barrier and then crawl inside of the cabinet. Now you could either just leave it as is and wait for someone to jump in mod window, or you could actually seal yourself in there and listen for someone to push through there and then burst out through the actual cabinet and get that kill. Thank you. 
So this next one takes us on to the second floor inside astronomy. Now I did feature this in my angles video as well, but again, this can act as a hiding spot, especially when the site is located in that area and they're pushing through bathroom to get into astro. A very simple one to do by breaking the telescope and then looking at the corner of the globe, you can get a vault on top of it. Then by standing on top of the globe and running up onto the containers, you will have a power position for anyone coming out of bathroom. Moving on to cafe for the next ones. This one is located inside the kitchen on the first floor. Very straightforward. Just by impacting and breaking the containers inside under the counter, you'll be able to prone and crawl up inside there. Now, once you're in there, anyone pushing into the site, or if it's not the site and someone's trying to make a play coming in from the bottom floor, you can jump out and catch them by surprise. The next one takes us into the reception on the first floor, very straightforward by placing a Kiba barrier on the side of the bench and vaulting over it, making sure to shoot the cushions in the corner. You can lay prone behind the pot in front of the bench. Anyone pushing in that reception door will be caught completely by surprise and you can jump up and get that kill. This next one takes us on to freezer hall, a very straightforward one by breaking the box in the corner. You'll be able to vault up and hide behind the box in front of you. Now, of course, people will be pushing in from that side, and if they break open that garage wall, then you're going to get absolutely clapped. But if you decide to take the risk, you never know if somebody might be pushing in the door. You'll get an easy pick, and then you can run the fuck away. Moving on to Clubhouse for this next one, and this is a reimagined spot from a long time ago. Basically, by breaking the containers in the back towards the wall, you'll be able to place a Kiba barrier on the right wheel of the dolly and vault over it in behind the containers. Anyone pushing into stock will have absolutely no idea you're hiding in this spot. It is almost invisible, as you can see from the enemy's perspective, and you can get an easy kill. This next one takes us into secret stairs. This is such a simple spot. It doesn't require any explanation. By breaking the box, you can get in behind it. Anyone trying to jump in the window will be destroyed. Moving on to the next one, and this is located on the top floor inside the bedroom. Now, this one works best if the site is located in this room because the bomb will even hide you more from being inside this spot. Now, by breaking the cabinet above and then vaulting up on top of the counter, if you run towards the lamp and the TV, you'll be able to get over the top of the two in behind the bike frame. Now, once you're in there, just lay prone. Anyone coming up that main stairs will have difficulty seeing you. And of course, if the site is located in there, if anyone coming in the window will have no idea you're in there because you'll be hiding behind the bomb. Moving on over to bank for the next ones, the first one being located on the first floor inside the electrical room. Now, again, super straightforward, break the cardboard box, lay prone in behind the white container. The next one is probably the most simple spot in the video, but it is the most effective spot. I have such a high success rate with getting kills on this one. Everyone seems to drone past this by simply lying behind the printer. Drones will come through the drone hole and completely miss you being there. And then they'll push in through the window to head into open area and you can jump up and get that kill. This next spot is located in the lobby in the back office. Now, this one wouldn't be used as often, but it's still worth a bit of fun to try out. By basically jumping up on top of the printer and breaking the side panels, you can drop in behind the printer. Now, anyone repelling on that window, if your site is on the top floor, or coming in the window to try and make a push towards the site, you can catch them off guard and jump up and get that kill. This next one takes us over onto Skyscraper, located in the pantry on the first floor. Now, by impacting that bottom shelf of the unit, you'll be able to lie prone and crawl up inside there.
Moving on to the next one. This one takes us over onto Chalet. Another very straightforward one. By lying in the bush in the main lobby, you're almost invisible for anyone pushing in the main door. You can also use the camera to watch so you know when someone is pushed in, and then you can hop up and get that kill. Moving on to the next one here on Consulate on the first floor inside the front office. Now this is one of the older spots in the game and still works to this day. By breaking the side panel of the desk open, you can lay prone and crawl in under the desk. Now you can break the chair too with a careful impact against the wall. So you'll have more room in there. So anyone pushing into admin, trying to make their way towards the site will get completely caught off guard by you hiding under the desk. Moving on to Oregon for this next one, located on the first floor inside the classroom. Now, by breaking the back desk up against the wall, and then by running up the side of the filing cabinet, making sure to look exactly where I am on screen, and running over the top of the front desk, you'll be able to get in behind it. Now, from here, there's a lot of activity in this area, so anyone coming in the window or the main lobby may not even notice you there, and you can pop up and get that kill. Moving on to Outback for these next two, the first one being located in the green room on the first floor. Now, this is a little bit of a cheeky one. It's not the best spot in the world, but you could have a lot of fun with it, especially if you close yourself in there with an Azami barrier, just like the one on Mudroom. So by breaking open the side of it and shooting that plant on the pot, you can run onto the pot and crawl inside there. Now, if the bomb is located in this room, it will block you even more inside that spot, and you can use it to get angles onto the bathroom door, or you can close yourself in there and just hide and confuse the enemy. This next one is another old one, super simple, by jumping up onto the couch, you can vault up on top of the vending machine, this one being located on the first floor in reception. This next one takes us onto Canal, and Canal is a bit of a dry map for hiding spots, but this one certainly works and is super effective as an angle and a spot. By breaking all of the computers and the boxes on top of the containers, you'll get a vault prompt up on top of it. Now from there, you can either hold your position, wait for someone to walk past you on Skybridge, or you can pop up and shoot anyone coming in that printer window. before i let you go make sure to drop down into the comment section let me know what your favorite spot is which ones you're more likely going to try out and of course like the video show support i've been working super hard on getting some of these videos out to you and i have plenty more for you to come if you are not in my new discord yet make sure to join up on it the link will be in the description and of course keep up to date on all my social medias i'll be posting updates and of course i will be streaming over on twitch again very soon and if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when i upload my next video and as always, I'm um, going